Hello everyone, welcome to Spiritual Butterfly. Today I will be doing a past, present, and future reading for the sign of Scorpio. These messages are general. They will not resonate with everyone. I ask that you take what does, apply it, and leave the rest. Also remember to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and click the notification bell in order to receive notifications when I post. So Scorpio, this is going to be a love reading and we're going to jump right into it. So Spirit, what messages do you have for Scorpio? Okay. I have the two of wands in the reverse. Okay, Scorpio. So in the past... Um, you definitely did not see a relationship move forward in the way that you wanted it to. Um, you may have walked away from someone or this person may have walked away from you. But there was definitely the ending of a relationship. Things did not go in the direction that you expected. So let's go further and clarify. Spirit, give me a message for the two of wands in the reverse okay so i have energy in the reverse i have toxicity and i have fertility in the reverse okay for some of you i feel like you and this person like struggle with getting along with this energy in the reverse i also feel that um, this relationship was very draining for others of you with this fertility in the reverse it's like, yeah, there was no growth. There was no growth when it came to this connection. Um, this person was in a very toxic energy. I heard third party, so they may have been um, dating other people. But I don't see you being very happy in this connection. For some of you, you may have even had children or a child with this person. I also heard got someone else pregnant, so this person may have also impregnated another person or may have gotten pregnant by someone else so let's pull some more messages spirit tell me more about energy in the reverse okay i have the eight of cups so yes this relationship was very draining very toxic and you decided to walk away yes you decided to walk away you no longer wanted to invest in this relationship. So let's get a message for fertility in the reverse. I have the king of cups and I have the nine of swords. For some of you, this person got someone else pregnant and you were stressing or this person was stressing about it. Yeah. This person was stressing. Um, if they got someone else pregnant or got pregnant by somebody else, it's like they were stressing because they realized that they were going to lose you, that this was going to be the ending of a relationship. For others of you, I feel that like the lack of love, the lack, the lack of emotional connection made you worry a lot made you stress um this person may have stepped out a lot when it comes to this connection um they may have been in multiple third party situations and it's like you really love this person you really cared about them but that same affection that same love that you gave scorpio was not reciprocated and it's like they may have been out at all times of night you may have been up stressing this person would come in i heard in the wee hours of the morning and you were just very stressed very worried when it came to this relationship it's like you had no peace in this connection so let's get a message for toxicity I have the hermit in the reverse. I have the moon and I have the empress. Yes, it was revealed to you that this person was seeing someone else. For some of you, it was revealed that this person had someone else pregnant. Yes, it came out with this hermit in the moon. It came out. You found out that this person was seeing someone else. So let's look into the present.
I have the Six of Cups. Okay, Scorpio, I feel like right now you're in a place in your life where you are learning to give love to yourself. You're learning to love yourself. I heard single, a lot of you are single, and you're just focusing on you. You're learning how to fill your own cup. So let's clarify. Spirit, clarify these Six of Cups. I have trust. Yes, trust. I feel that with trust, it's like you are healing and you're learning how to build your trust or rebuild your trust when it comes to relationships. Yes, it's like you're learning how to trust again. You're learning how to love again. Like you're in a season of healing. You're in a season of releasing. Of releasing. Um, you're learning a lot about yourself, learning a lot about what you want out of life, what you want when it comes to relationships. So let's clarify trust. Yeah, so it's like you're just learning. You're learning how to open yourself back up again, Scorpio. I have the emperor. Yes, you're learning how to open yourself back up again when it comes to love. Um, I heard interest. So for some of you, spirit is saying like there's someone that is interested in you. Um, this person does want to be in a relationship. Um, this is somebody that you can count on to be there. This person wants to equally invest. Um, I heard new. Um, for others of you, you may have recently entered into a new connection. Um, Spirit says like this person is very different from your past relationship. This person is very stable. They know what they want. Um, I also get a sense that this, that this person is older. This person um, is much older than you, Scorpio. So yes, this is someone who is willing. They're willing to be there for you. And I also heard take care of you. So this person may also want to take care of you. Um, they are very stable, financially secure. And they're willing. They're willing to invest. They're willing to give to this connection. Yeah, I heard time. Like this person is ready to put in the effort, the time, the energy. It's like whatever it takes for this connection to work, this person is ready and willing to do it. So let's look into your future. And I'm also getting that for a long period of time, some of you may have been single. I'm getting months and I'm also getting years. So you may have been single for a long time, whether it's months, whether it's years for some of you. And it's like, finally, because with those of you who have been single for years, it took you a long time to get over this connection. It took you a long time to get over this disappointment. And so you were very closed off, but it's like now you're in a season where you are fully open and ready to give. And it's like this person just came into your life and they changed your mind completely when it comes to love, when it comes to relationships. Like you've never dated someone like this before. Um, I also get two ends of the spectrum. So for some of you, you and this person may come from two different backgrounds in terms of financially. So this person may have come from a more affluent family and you may have come from a background where, you know, everyone had to work um, more of like a middle class background. So it's like this person is definitely a level up when it comes to your financial stability. For those of you who are single, Spirit is saying soon. So if you are single currently, Spirit is like, get ready to meet this person soon. And since it's in the present section of the spread, I'm getting that this is going to be very soon for some of you. Spirit says April. So for some of you, you may be meeting this person this month in the month of April. I have the Knight of Pentacles for the future. Yes, this relationship is going to be moving forward. This relationship is going to be taking off. I'm getting married. So for some of you, you may um, end up being married to this person. 
like I said, they're very sure of themselves. They know what they want. This person wants to give. And again, I heard take care of. This person wants to take care of you. They want to provide for you. I also heard children. So for some of you, this person wants to provide for you and your children. Um, They're very nurturing. They're very caring. They don't mind coming in and filling the role of a mother or a father. They're very responsible. For some of you, this person doesn't have children of their own. I have extroverted. Yes. There is going to be an expression of love in the future. I'm getting like a proposal. This person is going to be proposing to you, Scorpio. They're going to be letting you know that they want to spend the rest of their life with you. They see a future with you. I have the Page of Cups and I have the Ace of Pentacles. Yes, this is going to be a very successful relationship. Yes. This person is going to make you an offer in the future. They're definitely going to make you an offer of love. Proposing. Yes, I also see her moving in together. This person is ready. They're ready to settle down with you. Yes, you have met your emperor. Or for those of you who are single, you will soon be meeting your emperor. So let's pull some final messages. Okay, Scorpio. So I have the world in the reverse. I have the page of swords in the reverse. And I have the Four of Pentacles. Scorpio, do not hold on to anything from the past. Yes. The world in the reverse, Scorpio, is like, do not relive the past. It's like, by you holding on to things of the past, it's going to make you doubt this new connection. It's going to make you doubt this person. Yes, with this Four of Pentacles, I just see holding on. Let go of the past. Do not let your past block you from this new beginning. This person is ready to be in your life they're capable of giving you the love that you deserve so it's like do not relive the past stop reliving the past stop thinking negatively it's like for some of you you're waiting for the ball to drop like you're just waiting for something negative to happen and spirit is like no do not come in with limited expectations do not come into this situation thinking negative it's like your thoughts is what allows you to manifest. So it's like if you have negative thinking, then you are going to manifest things that are negative. So Spirit is saying that no, keep your thoughts positive so that you can manifest the things that you truly want in life, that you want when it comes to this connection. So it's like, I heard skeptical. For some of you, you may be skeptical of this person at first, but it's like, Spirit is saying it's okay to let down your guard. That comes from your past experiences. But Spirit is saying give this person a fair chance. Because Scorpio, you will not regret it. So I hope that these messages resonate. Remember to stay true to thyself and real with thyself. Grow with me as I grow with you. Everyone stay blessed.